morning. It's Joe with Joe Lee Farms. We're going to show you a little bit today about how we make our compost. So hang on, you're going to see some cool stuff. So we were fortunate enough that we uh, were able to bring in a chipper shredder to use here on our property. And uh, we partnered with a friend of mine, so we have one here, you know, for us to use whenever we like. So, uh, you know, we get all these tree trimmings from all the different trees on the property. And my guy will bring the tripper shredder, shredder over in this area and we'll shred all this up here later today. So um, we're trying to use more plant-based compost than animal manures. We haven't used animal manure probably in six months. Um, the only time we use animal manure now is the rabbit uh, manure that we get from our rabbits. And the thing about it is we don't have to compost that because rabbit manure is pre-composted. You can use it directly on your plants without fear of burning your plants. So we use rabbit manure, and you can see this big tree right here. We have a lot of these on the property, so we trim them from time to time, stack it all up here, and then just shred it all at once. So our compost bins are located just on the other side of our greenhouses up here on the hill. And we actually have two lots, and this is on our second lot. Um, these were already built when we came here. They're not ideal. I would have done them differently. Um, but hey, they're here, so we utilize them the best we can. And so the idea is, is this one is larger. This one's a little smaller, and that one's smaller still. So the raw compost goes right in here. Tree trimmings, um, kitchen scraps, whatever we got just goes in here. And when you fill this up, it eventually starts to shrink down. The idea is it will then rotate this over into this compost pile. Now you can see in here, this compost is getting pretty close to being finished. This is all plant matter, no animal manures. We can sift that with our sifters right here. Little homemade sifters we put right over the wheelbarrow. And uh, sift out the larger pieces if we wanted, we could use this right now. Or we can, in turn, go ahead and flip this to the last bin, which you see is empty right here, awaiting compost. And in this last flip, we'll give it a little bit more water. The heat's about gone from it at this point. Um, so we'll try to get it to where it uh, heats up a little bit more. And then we'll add some uh, composting worms to it. And they'll finish it off perfectly. At this stage, there's still a little bit too much heat in it to add worms. They'll just go down in the ground because they won't like the heat. Um, but once it flips into the last bin, pretty much the heat's gone and it's, it's below a temperature that the worms will tolerate. So we can add worms to it. And there's actually worms down in that soil that will come up to meet the compost once it's in there. So uh, that's just a real basic composting method we use. And of course, we do liquid fertilizers and things like that. And then up on our hill, as I've shown before, we've got our storage tanks for irrigation water. And up on this hill is our pond. And it is dry right now because we are in the dry season. And we'll walk up there and take a quick look. It uh, lasted till just about two weeks ago and then it went dry. So you can see we just have a tiny bit of water in there right now. And there's where the water comes out from our ditch over there. But it'll be all uh, full again here in a few more weeks when it starts to rain. We've got this piece of bamboo in there with the ridges cut out in it. And that's for, um, you know, little animals, rabbits and things that might slip down into this water. Instead of letting them drown, they've got a ladder and they can walk on out and take off. As you can see, everything here is on a steep incline. A lot of pine trees, which doesn't hurt a thing, but adds a little acidity to the water. We don't mind. Again, we've got all these trees here that we trim from time to time and we place down in our compost piles after it's been shredded. Hope you enjoyed how we make our compost. We're going to show you a little soil building video coming up soon and uh, we'll talk more about how we build soil here in Ecuador. Hope you have a great day. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe.